Today we are looking at a scene known as Rudolph.exe. The Christmas holidays is upon us and well, this only means that there could be some creepy hidden secrets underneath Christmas's tree or the Christmas tree, something like that. Anyways, as I progress into this world known as Rudolph.exe, it is said on this world there is a scary Rudolph haunting this world, one with red eyes and blood dripping from those red eyes. It definitely creates a very eerie thought on if Christmas is really that pleasant. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and enable post notifications. Bop, 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 bop. I got ahead of myself. Subscribe and enable post notifications. Ring the bell, making it go ding. Did you guys just see that? Surely that is not me. That did. No, 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 no. Wait just a second. Wait just a second. I know I'm not the only one that just spotted that. I cannot be. Was it an Enderman? It looked like it had a Christmas hat on. I don't know for sure, guys, what that was. And I'm only going to assume that it wasn't nothing. But why did that happen right at the start of this video? I do not know. Perhaps this world is haunted. This is why I don't like trying the .exe worlds in Minecraft. It always leads to something bad, I tell you. Either way, guys, let's go for... 3 likes, 300 likes, or 3,000 likes. Any of those are fine. The bronze, silver, or gold medal of likes. But, if you haven't already, share a friend's family. If you're not a subscriber, I always say, are you good? Because you need to subscribe and keep updated with everything that we're doing here. We're not stopping. But, as interesting as it is, it has been said... There's been many claims that say Rudolph is haunting this world, as I just stated. A red-eyed Rudolph. Not a good one. It's not just red-nosed reindeer. It's a red-eyed, bloody reindeer. That was an Enderman. What is he doing? The fact that I just spawned so quickly? I have to say, I thought I spotted something on his head when he first died. I thought maybe it was a Santa hat. I've never seen an Enderman spawn that quick into the world. That's why it threw me for a bit of a scare. I don't know if any of you guys have just spawned right into the world and seen a mob spawn that quick, especially like an Enderman. It's a little unusual. And I would declare that as some unusual activity in a world. Now, with any of the EXE worlds, the .exe worlds, weird things kind of happen. And I think I speak for many, and we have found some worlds in Minecraft that just don't add up. Something is weird. There's weird undertones in those worlds, and I speak for everyone when I say, sometimes it just isn't right. So, in this video, we're going to be trying to find any of the very chilling and cold areas of the map that could perhaps harness and hold all of these mysteries that surround the Rudolph on the Rudolph.exe world. Perhaps we will be lucky in finding something today, perhaps not. Perhaps we will debunk that this world seems rather normal, but from the start already with the Enderman, that is a bit unusual. Very unusual. So I'm not sure what else we will encounter on this Minecraft world, which could have a dark twist and make Christmas a bit scary. Either way, we're going to have our, ho high, uh, our hopes high and hope that nothing too bad happens. Then again, if something does happen that's unusual to a large degree, I guess it's good because I was the first person to capture it here on YouTube. So there's no telling what we might run into. I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to game mode C. And just take a little bit of a, you know, a gander at what we have around here. Now, if you guys spot anything unusual, anything creepy, I would say it is your responsibility to go ahead and leave it in the comment section below to allow me to be aware of such creepy spottings or sightings that you guys happen to have during this video. Perhaps you've seen something I did not see. And with... Did you guys see that? There was like a flickering of a mob. Was it the spot, the sheep that spawned there? It, it flickered. The mobs have very unusual activity in this world so far. I'm, I am seeing some things that just doesn't seem or can be deemed normal. There's like two. Wait, what? It appeared to be one cow and then another cow came out of that cow, it seemed like. I don't know about this. On second thought, I really don't know about this. It's kind of weird. Oh, wait. Look at it. The, the mobs are, like, flickering. I'm not the only one that's seeing that, right? The mobs will flicker. 
This is weird all of a sudden. Now, I want to ask a question to everyone out there viewing. First off, if you have any seeds you would like me to check out that is scary or Christmas orientated or anything that's not even Christmas oriented, leave it in the comment section below. There's a lot of seeds that people constantly request me to check out, and I am aware of your comments, and I am having those noted, and I'm hoping to get around to, you know, covering as many seeds that you guys have for me to look at. But... If you have any creepy experiences playing Minecraft or creepy seeds that you would like me to look at in Minecraft, be sure to post it in the comment section below. I'm always reading the comments. I'm always hearing what you guys have to say. Like I said, we're creating a community here. A very, very great community at that, must I say. But it appears that there is, well, nothing too unusual in this desert. So that's good. That's good. I don't see any upside down crosses. Crosses of that extent, or of that extent which is good. Um, I always like to think that the crosses have went extinct, to be exact, though, and just to rephrase that. But either way, things seem to be un normal, despite the mobs spawning in a weird way. I, I, I should probably check out a cave system, huh? Uh, there seems to be an X here, so perhaps this is a clear indication that I should check out the cave here. Let's go get some torches, just very quickly, and see if there's a cave system right underneath. X usually marks the spot, right? Perhaps that is a no here. So there's nothing here. What about if we go into the void? Would it be so creepy, guys, if we were just flying through the void and then all of a sudden, like, some scary image of Rudolph, like, appeared? I wouldn't be able to handle it. I'd be like, nah, thanks. Wait. Oh, we, we found a cave now. Ooh, I don't like this because I, I'm just picturing in my head like a scary image of Rudolph with like red eyes. Ooh, diamonds. That's a distraction. A very good one at that. So yeah, just the thought of like something scary of sort, it, it, it kind of puts me on edge because I never thought of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer to be scary till recently and uh, if you can't tell by my voice, I'm already kind of weirded out to even talk about it. It was nice to find some diamond though. Oh, more diamond. Let me go ahead and turn coordinates on for you guys. So you can know where these diamonds are if you play this world. A little helpful tip there. Seems to be a lot, too. Anyways, let's get on out of here. I don't like the signs of these caves. I wonder where we're going to end up. In the water. Near our mushroom-roofed forest. Hmm. Wouldn't mind finding... Uh, what's that thing called? A uh, woodland mansion. With the vindicators and everything of sort. Is this the desert that we previously visited? No, it seems a lot, very, very much so large. It's a um, well over there. Um, that's about it. I don't see anything scary above land here. Perhaps we are going to leave this without finding Rudolph or anything like scary to an extent, unless I happen to encounter something that I did not catch while filming. Now, if that's the case, then I may have to make another video addressing what we found, if we did find anything or you guys caught anything, because I rely on the eyes of all of you as well. While I'm playing this, my eyes can't catch everything on the screen and every little detail. That's why you guys can aid and help. Post a timestamp below if you see anything weird. But as of now, I'm going to conclude this case and say that there's not no hidden scary Rudolph on the Rudolph.exe world, and perhaps we did debunk it. But then again, who knows, the mob activity was quite odd on this world, unusual compared to most, and that creates some suspicion. I would say on a scale, it created maybe a 20 or 30% suspicion rate that would make me want to investigate this world a little bit more. But not over 50, which means I may or may not return to this, depending on what you guys spotted as well. There seems to be a nice desert pyramid here, and I think one thing that I do want to check, and a lot of you guys are probably curious as well, what kind of loot is sitting at the bottom? I messed up. There's an emerald. There's nothing. Woo! There was a golden apple, guys. 
Who I messed up. What an explosion to end the video. The Rudolph.exe world seems rather peaceful. But with that aside, guys, thanks so much. And I will see you all in the next video.